Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a study vlog motivation tips type video. A lot of you guys have been requesting this video and in about three days I have finals week coming up for my second semester and I definitely need to do a lot of preparation and studying over the next few days. So I decided to take you guys along with me to do a little study with me along with giving you guys some of my tips and tricks for studying, motivation, productivity, and all that. I do want to thank Sihu for sponsoring today's video but I will talk more about them in a little bit. So yeah, welcome. Welcome to today's video. I am so sorry for the lighting. I keep trying to switch it around. The lighting has been so bad recently because it's just been cloudy and rainy in California. So obviously the lighting isn't the best, but I wanted to get this video started off today. And before I start studying, I wanna make just an entire list of everything that I need to do, study for, and prep for this upcoming finals week. For my school, our finals week is laid out into three days. So we don't have school Monday because of Memorial Day, but Tuesday we have finals for periods two and four. Wednesday, the finals are for periods three and five, and Thursday, our finals are for periods one and six. Friday, there's no school, and all of our final periods are like two and a half hours, and so we get out at about 1.45 p.m., and there's no lunch during the day, so you literally just go take your first final, we have a five minute break, take your second final, and go home, and if you have a zero period, your final is like split between the three days, so I kind of base off my studying based on which finals come first, so on the first day, I have periods two and four. Two is PE, so there's nothing to do for that. Four is English and we have a final based on the book we just read So I will need to prepare like a quizlet or something for that And then the second day of finals is three and five which is Spanish and math for me Those I definitely do want to study for and then the third day of finals is periods one and six period one is AP Euro But since we already took our AP test we already took the final as well So I don't have a final this week for that class. Thank God But period six is honors chemistry, which is definitely gonna be one of the hardest ones So I'm really glad that's like one of my last finals and I have more time to prep. But yeah, that's kind of like an overview on my finals. And like I said before, I'm going to make a list, kind of like a to-do list first on all the classes that I need to prep for and kind of like what I want to do for each class. Alright, so I have everything written down here for the week of what I need to focus on studying slash doing to prep for my classes. Just for some context, today is Saturday, May 28th, and my first final start on Tuesday, May 30th. Personally, for me, I like to study as close to my actual test date as possible, because if I study too early, I just don't remember anything that I study. So I'm not going to do too much actual studying today. What I mainly just wanted to get done was putting together everything that I have to do over the next two days, and then actually do most of the studying tomorrow, but I did want to talk to you guys about today's video sponsor, which is Sihu. Thank you again to Sihu for sponsoring today's video. Sihu specializes in ergonomic office chairs, so I don't know if you've noticed this chair in the last few videos, but I did get a new office chair, and I love it. I've been using it at my desk over the past few days, and it is just so, so comfortable. Some cool features that I personally like about this chair are that the armrests are adjustable, so you can rotate them inwards and have them basically set at any angle that's comfortable for you. As you guys can tell, this chair also does spin and is on wheels so you can bring it anywhere you need it. Another cool thing that's adjustable is the headrest. It can be tilted backwards or forwards at whatever angle you prefer it at and it has this nice backrest. It also just gives more back support when you're working for a longer period of time. Another cool thing about this chair is it does have the ability to lean back if you want to have more of like a relaxed position or something like that. You can lean it all the way back up like this and then obviously sit up with very little difficulty. The chair moves so smoothly. When I have to go through long periods of work such as studying or editing for YouTube, having a chair that is really comfortable and provides me with a lot of back support is so, so helpful. And this chair definitely does it all. And those are some of the reasons why I love this chair. And I would highly suggest it whether you work in an office or you just want it for your desk at home or you want it for a gaming setup, literally any situation, this chair is perfect. I would highly recommend you go check them out. I will link their website and their products in the description down below. Make sure you guys go check them out. I really do love the chair and it's provided so many great benefits for me. Thank you again to Sihu for sponsoring today's video and for sending me this amazing chair. While it is good to work in your room at your desk in a place where you know you can be focused and is more designated to be like your workspace, it's always good to go work somewhere else and just have a little change of scenery for your body and your brain because I know for me at least I can get kind of bored working at my desk after a while, especially when studying for school because school can be boring. So one of my tips for studying is I would highly suggest going to like a coffee shop, Starbucks, or even just a different place in your 
your house to study every once in a while just to kind of change it up a little bit recently i did that kind of on my own i went to starbucks did a little self-study session there so i'll insert some footage of that now One thing that I want to say about studying that always keeps me like motivated and keep going rather than just taking a break on my phone every five minutes is to always have like a snack or a drink nearby or like somewhere where you can access it kind of to motivate you in a way I guess like for me I always like to have Starbucks nearby it just always helps or even just being in a Starbucks in general this is like my motivation in a cup or even just having a snack or something or like if you order food on DoorDash like you know it's coming your way so that kind of motivates you Honestly, just anything like that. That may not work for everyone, but it definitely works for me. So I personally like to have a Starbucks by me. Also because it has some caffeine in it, so it keeps me going a little bit. That's just one tip that I have. But I don't think I'm going to do any like in-depth studying today. So I think I'll just see you guys tomorrow where we really get started on the studying and get a lot done. Once again, there is terrible lighting in my room. I'm so sorry, but I really want to get my studying started today. So as you guys saw yesterday, I wrote down everything in my planner that I want to do. And so I have all of my folders here of all the classes that I'm going to be needing to study for. Yes, I have the same color folder for every class. I used to be a binder girl where I would just have like all of my classes in a binder, like the same binder, and then be separated by dividers. But halfway through the year, I decided I wanted to switch to folders, try it out, and I actually think I I'm now a folder girl but when I went to buy folders in like the middle of the year they didn't have like multiple colors they just had packs of the same color so I literally have a white folder for every single class I have written the names of the classes like on the top but the sharpie got kind of faded from all of my use and the folders are ready to fall apart but that's okay because it's the end of the year so I think I'm just gonna go down through the list and complete all the different study things that I'm doing for each class and just see how much I want to get done I do have tomorrow also before my first finals today is Sunday. Tomorrow, Monday, I have off because of Memorial Day and then my first set of finals are on Tuesday. So I have today and tomorrow to really get all of my studying stuff like started and completed. We're gonna do as much as I can today. Maybe I'll try to have like all of my Quizlets and like study guides filled out by the end of today and then tomorrow just study the like Quizlets and stuff, but I'll see what I want to do. So the first thing on my list is to study for English. For our English final, we are doing just a simple multiple choice final based on the book we just read. So I have the study guide here printed out for my teacher and it basically just has all of the key things you're going to need to know so for these types of tests i usually like to make quizlets to use to study So I just finished making the quiz for English and basically what I did is I took all the things on our study guide that we're going to need to know and I put them on there. I defined the words or listed examples or whatever I needed to do for the certain name or text or whatever it was. I put it on the Quizlet and then we also need to know all of these different types of syntax that we did. We did this worksheet a while ago where basically we would like define it and put its effects on like the text or whatever. So we're going to need to know all of these for the test as well. So I also also put those on there. I think that took about an hour. I'm not exactly sure what time I started, but I'm glad I finished that. And honestly, this one probably won't need as much studying just because the book alone is not very difficult to like read and understand. And I know most of like the literary techniques and all that. So I probably will only have to go through this Quizlet like once or twice for the final on Tuesday, which is great that I got that out of the way. So I'm just going to cross it off on my little to-do list. It's currently 3 p.m. and obviously 
I do not have any other plans for the rest of the day because I wanted to dedicate this day for working. I literally woke up at 10 and like while I was eating breakfast and lunch, I was editing future videos. So I'm glad I got that done. But it is still always good to take breaks during studying, especially because it can just feel like a lot sometimes. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'm not gonna take more than like 15 minutes because obviously I still have a good amount of things to do. So I think I'm just gonna sit in my bed and watch TikTok for like 10 to 15 minutes and then come back and finish, hopefully. At least finish like one other thing. All right guys, so I'm still laying in bed. I just took about a 10 minute break and I decided I'm going to work on Spanish now, which basically means I'm gonna do the mock final and I'm just gonna text one of my friends to see if she has the correct answers because she did it in class so that I can like accurately see if I really need to study that much after doing this. Another thing that I like to do when I study is to make sure that I'm comfortable. So like I was at my desk for a while this morning and I do not feel like going back. So I decided I was gonna do this mock test while sitting here in bed because it's just more comfortable and it's a good little change of scenery without having to actually like go somewhere. Like I'm still in my room and everything, but I just moved to a different spot that's more comfy so that I'm still motivated to like get this done. Alright, so my friend had the answers and I just went through and corrected this whole entire packet and honestly, I did not do that bad. There was a total of 84 questions in here and I got about, I think, 10 of them wrong, which gives me like an 88% on this, which is great because my grade has been over 100 like this entire year. So I honestly don't need to stress that much on the final. So that takes another thing off of my plate to have to worry about this week, which is great. Obviously, I will still study and prep, but like I don't have to do as much for it which just feels really good it is currently now 4 p.m and now all i have to do is math and chemistry which i feel like those are the two that are probably going to take the most amount of time like i said before chemistry i really just have to make my cheat sheet which still kind of takes a while because i have to go through all my tests quizzes worksheets notes all that kind of stuff to put together my cheat sheet but it'll be worth it in the end and then math i was just texting my friend about it because she was asking me if i did a certain amount of problems and i missed that class like review day so i haven't done any of them and I told her that and she was like oh good luck for when you start it and I'm not excited about that so I think I'm gonna take a break from school and work on editing some of my videos planning content and also start packing or like make a packing list for my trip that I'm going on in less than a week now I literally cannot wait I'm so excited we are back at it again. It is the last day that I'm gonna be filming this video. It is Monday, May 29th, the day before my first set of finals that are tomorrow. And honestly, I think I saved the two hardest classes to study for on today just because they take the most time. So I completed English and Spanish yesterday and today I'm gonna be doing my math review and then also make my chem cheat sheet. Technically, I do not need to finish chem or math today because my math final isn't until Wednesday. My chem final isn't until Thursday, so I still have time but obviously like it would be very helpful to finish today so yeah that is what I'm going to try to get done today So just an update. It has been basically an hour and for my math review My teacher made this study guide sheet and it's split into three parts So the first part are a bunch of textbook like practice homework type problems for each of the different units that we learned this semester And then the second part is like questions already put on this worksheet just based off of the last test We took because we literally just took it So there's no like review day based on it if that makes sense because we just took the test and then the third part of this paper is just extra practice practice overall. So what I've done so far is I've done all of the practice problems from like the textbook. I just did it in my notebook. It's on this page and then also the back. And I decided I would take just a little break before I move on to part two, which are the problems on this actual sheet.
Okay guys, so I just finished studying for math. I checked that off my list. Last thing I have to do is make my cheat sheet for my chem exam. And I know that's gonna take me a while, so I'm not making a priority to finish it all today. Like I can work on it in portions. So honestly, I think I'm doing pretty good with like all my schoolwork. So I think I might take a little break from like school stuff and work on some editing and just relax before I have my first set of finals tomorrow. I might also go over my English Quizlet because that's my more important final for tomorrow. So yeah, I'm basically all ready for finals. I think this is where I'm going to end today's video just so I can focus on doing other things for the rest of the day. Literally, I cannot wait for school to be over. We have three more days left of school. I am so ready for it to be done. I want to thank Sihu again for sponsoring today's video. I love this chair. I've literally been sitting in it for hours for the past like week with all my studying and work. It's the most comfortable chair. So make sure you guys go check them out. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post. I post every Monday at 8 a.m. PST and for the rest of the summer if I have additional videos which I'm planning on posting additional videos those will post some other day of the week at 8 a.m. I'm not making a specific posting date for the second post of the week so always expect a video every Monday at 8 a.m. but if I have another video to post for the rest of the week it'll be posted on a random day at 8 a.m. that is all I have for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one bye